Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to write to an Excel file in Robot Framework Test Automation. The purpose of writing to Excel file. In some cases, users may need to write some test data or test result data into Excel spreadsheet. Although there is robot framework Excel library available for use, it's not easy to manipulate Excel file with provided keywords. In this video, I explain how to use X lsx writer python package to write to excel file in robot framework xlsx writer is a python module that can be used to write text numbers formulas and hyperlinks to multiple worksheets in an excel 2007 plus xlsx file as explained here, Robot Framework has a built-in Excel library that's for use. However, some of the keywords are not easy to use. So, in this video tutorial, I'm teaching you how to write a Python script and use the Python script in your test automation Robot Framework. By using this example, if you cannot find any keyword to use or any library to use, you can always write a Python script and use your Python script in your robot framework test automation. To use XLS writer package, we need to download and install the package on the PC we are using for testing. You can download the X LSX writer from the URL https colon slash slash xlsx writer dot readthedocs.org slash getting started dot html hash sign installing xlsx writer since you have already installed python language you can use the pip command to install the package on your command prompt just enter pip install xlsx writer then this package will be installed on your PC. So this screen shows that this package successfully installed. Robot framework implementation for writing to an Excel file. We follow the five steps below. One. Install XLSX Writer Python package in your computer that runs Robot Framework. I just explained in previous slide, you can install the package with Python pip command or you can go to that website, download the package and run the installer. 2. Create a custom Python class to write to excel file. I name it the file as create excel file.py. 3. Add the custom python file as a resource in robot framework test suite. 4. Create a list with row, column and content in the robot framework test case. 5. Using the custom Python file to 
write the content to an Excel file. These are the five steps we follow when writing to an Excel file in Robot Framework Test Automation. Now let's look at the create Excel file.py. So we import the XLSX writer uh, because we have already installed the package. Now we created a class, Excel utility class. Please remember that we use this class as a library after adding the file as a resource in robot framework test automation. In Python class, we define a init. This will initialize the class. So next one is we define a group. In this group, we define the group belongs to the object Excel utility self. Uh, this is the list content. This n is group by. This means that when we have multiple items in a list, this function will group the list by the number of items. Let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items in the list and we group by 2. That means first group has 0, 3, second group has 4, 10, third group has 2, 3. We need to use a group to group the list content by 3 when writing to Excel file. Because the worksheet.write function contains or takes three variables row number, column number, and the content. So this group function will be used to group the content by three when we write to the Excel file. And this return zip list items and for i in range. That means it will group all the list items by the number we provided and create a tuple. Now we define a function. Define write to Excel file. Please remember that when we define a function or keyword, we always follow this pattern. This function takes self, file name, and content list. So we define a workbook that is equal to xlsxwriter.workbook and we provide a file name. Once we define a workbook, Excel book, we add a spreadsheet, worksheet workbook dot add worksheet that means a new spreadsheet is added so now we define a content the content t equal to self dot group we use the group function and the content list because content list is a variable in the function and we group by 3. That means when we group by 3 the first item will be used as a row number. Second item will be used as a column number and third item will be used as a content. Since we have multiple groups we use four item in T in the list collection. 
after we write the content to the excel sheet we close the workbook so this is the create excel file used as a resource in the robot framework you can also find the file uh, on seleniummaster.com website robot framework resource and library so we create a excel suite and we add the file as a resource create excel file.py as a resource we add a library collection and we also add a library create excel file.excel utility because the file name is create excel file and excel utility this class is used as a library this is the actual uh, test case we create a list name it content we append to list content we append one one test case one one is row number column number and content second line we add second row column and test case to content and third line content and uh, fourth line content and in the final line we add write to excel file if your resource is not added properly the keyword will not be highlighted as blue that means your resource file is not added correctly so after you add your resource file make sure you add a library in a proper way and test3.xlsx that is the file name and this is the content now let's go back to the file and find out if this is correct when we look at the python file define write to excel file it takes three variables self represents the object excel utility we have already imported this as a library so we don't need to pass uh, any variable and the file name and content list in this keyword we give file name test 3 xlsx and content so this syntax is correct This is a code implementation. We added collections library. We added the create excel file.py as a resource file. And for library, create excel file.excel utility. Here is the test case. And uh, we tag this test case as Excel. After we execute the test case, we observe the test result. Now, this is the second row, test case 1, the third row, test case 2, 4, 3, 5 is 4. Because we did not give 0 and uh, 0, it started with 1. Um, so, that means it started uh, from the second row and the second column. Now let's look at the robot framework IDE. So as explained in the PowerPoint, we have collections, library, we have the resource file, 
we add the library create excel file dot excel utility now let's look at the actual test so this is a create list append to list and append to list write to excel file after we execute the file we see that one test passed and one critical test and the test passed now let's change the file name and um, the column name and find out how this works and this is the test3.xlsx file now let's change it let's change um, the content starts with 0 0 is 1 2 3 so that means uh, first row first column uh, second row first column third row first column uh, this is fourth row first column let's say test case a the content is second one is test case B the third one is test case C the fourth one is test case D now let's change the file name to um, test A B C D now let's run it again save it click on the run because we have added the tag Excel we need to put Excel in the command now let's click on start so the test passed now let's look at the result file we open the folder now test ABCD is created now let's open the file as you see first col row first column test case A it, second one is test case B test case C test case D so by using uh, this pattern you can add content to Excel file and in the Python file if you want to add multiple contents you can group them with different pattern according to your need and also create Excel file in this video tutorial I explained how to use custom Python file in robot framework test automation to write to an Excel file for the written example please visit www seleniummaster.com under the python robot framework column thanks for watching